What is going on, everyone? My name is Iceman. Welcome, uh, welcome to Mass Effect. Uh, uh, I do. I know. I have. Well, uh, you're probably wondering why uh, it's a start new career here, and you know I don't have a continue or anything like that. Uh, it's because, unfortunately, uh, I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, but somehow I lost my saves. Uh, I lost my saves for the for the uh, for the previous uh, game. And you know, I didn't do. I, I don't think I got far. I don't think I got far. Uh, no, I, I don't think I got far. Oh, it's probably just the beginning, because you know, I, I all I did was complete the one mission. So I do know what happens in the first mission. Uh, But that's it. So, uh, uh, and I, I'll try to. I, I remember in the last vid, I, I was, you know, taking forever and stuff, and uh, you know, uh, like going through tutorials and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not going to do that this time. So yes, I did lose the saves. Uh, but good news is, I did not get far in the game. So uh, I do know what happens in the first mission here. Uh, or the first like first 10 15 minutes of gameplay I know what happens uh, but after that you know that's it I don't... <laughs> oh fucking damn it oh shit there we go I have to be careful because sometimes uh, if the game minimizes it can uh, it can damage uh, like if it minimizes, I can sometimes can't get it back, you know. So yeah, I will say, uh, I do apologize for my breathing and my, uh, my, 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 uh, like my breathing's a bit weird. Uh, you might hear me like, you might hear me like, huff and like puff or whatever. Uh, I don't know how to say it really, but you'll hear me, uh, you know, like exhaling, and stuff. I don't know. If you hear me breathing weird, uh, I'm trying to stop. It's really, really hard. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Uh, but do note that it also screws up my cognitive ability. So uh, when that happens, I may repeat stuff. I may repeat sentences that I've already talked about. I might not be able to convey ideas or speak really well. Yeah, it's bad. So uh, oh, yeah, I'll do my best. Hopefully, this doesn't totally screw this up and if you hear tapping uh, that's part of the issue as well I'm tapping to try to uh, not uh, have it affect you know, me mentally or whatever right so options how can I so downloadable content uh, so I do have these two things here, but I honestly don't know what the fuck any of that is. Uh, but uh, I'm not, you know, gonna fuck with that or anything. Uh, I might do that last, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the settings. You know how I roll with every single game that I play. Uh, starting out, I always show you the graphic settings. Oh, I always show you the settings I have. So the so uh, so everything is at twenty percent basically music, soundtracks, dialogue, all that, right? That's the way the sound is. Now input uh, is as such controls. Now I will say that uh, some people might be wondering, like. Some people, I know, I know. There's been there's been people that have, you know, looked up uh, how to uh, how to uh, how to like un if you can unbind keys in this game. And actually, right now, I'm gonna do G for grenade because you know that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna screw me up, honestly. Uh, 
Right, and then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that, and that's good. Apply. But yeah, uh, some people might be wondering, like, there's a lot of people out there, like, if you, if you wonder if you can unbind keys, like, unbind them so it says none and shit like that, uh, if you're wondering if you can do that uh, in this game, there's a lot of people that say you cannot, uh, you can't do it, you know, you can't unbind keys in the game. I d without going into detail, I will just say, uh, I there is a way. I do know how to unbind the keys internally from the game. So, but it's temporary, it's only a temporary effect. Uh, I know what to do. Uh, I know how to, I, like let's say, let's say I want to get rid of the, uh, let's say I didn't like the the map, the, the M here, I wanted to get rid of the M for map, I wanted to unbind this whole function. There is a way to do that for the game. Uh, it does require some coding experience, however, uh, so I would not recommend it if you if you don't know your way around code or anything like that. But uh, if you guys are curious and you want to know how I un how I how to unbind these keys, obviously I don't have anything un unbound right now uh, because you know because you know it's just I just defaulted everything, right? So uh, so I, I didn't unbind anything. Uh, but there is a way. There is a way. And honestly, I don't fully remember how I did. Like I know how I did it, but I don't remember where. I had to do it at so uh, uh, it's hard to explain but basically uh, if you want to know how to unbind keys any key from this game temporarily so temporarily meaning if you if you do it and you unbind the key if you so much as go in to the settings here and rebind the key that's it you can't get rid of it again unless you do the little procedure that I did. Uh, you'd have to redo it. So I would make backups in that case. But yeah. But yeah. Uh, if you want to know how to unbind these keys here. Also, I'm really tired. I do apologize. If you want to know how to unbind these keys, uh, let me know in the comments. And I'll, I'll I'll make an actual video on how to actually do it. It's it's not that hard. You just have to be careful, okay? You don't change the rock thing, right? So that's that. Gameplay. Uh, combat difficulty. So we have casual, normal, veteran, and hardcore. Obviously, I don't really know anything about this game, so I'm doing casual. Doing easy. It says auto level up, adjust where the points automatically manually assigned each time a character advances in level. Uh huh, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna have that off. Target assist. Uh I'll have that just high, whatever, it's fine. Squad power uses determines which skills and talents squad members will use in combat. I have had that off, but you know what? I'm gonna do defense only here. I'm just gonna give that a shot. See what that does. Okay. And I may turn this off uh, down the line, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to keep order save, apply. Tutorials, uh, it'll pop ups, yes, I'm just going to whatever, reset them, whatever. And I do apologize, guys. But my breathing, I know it's weird, I know it's kind of, you know, I turn off and everything, but honestly, I, I, I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of, you know, I'm tired, like, what you guys might find annoying, I am so sick of this. Like, I'm, I'm not sick, you know, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not mad at you guys for finding it annoying. I find it annoying, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it happening. Right, so graphics, window mode, uh, I'm in full screen here. Gamma is 20, 
We're doing 1900 by 1080p at uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. We see dynamic ra uh, shadows on uh, we're at 30 FPS maximum. And when I say maximum, I mean limited. I should I shouldn't say I shouldn't say maximum. I should say 30 FPS limited because that way, uh, you know, that way you know. I, I don't know why I'm in, I've been in the habit of saying 30 FPS max. I should say 30 FPS limited because it shows that you know it's limited to 30. Right? I'm limiting forcefully. And honestly, I don't know why I do that, but I do. Uh, dynamic shadows on texture detail ultra high so this is basically highest quality graphics also have motion blur okay film grain I do not have film grain on because I don't know I just don't desire film grain to be honest I didn't desire film grain film grain is a little too much in, in this game so I, I didn't want film grain okay but yeah those are the settings. Right, start new career. Let's do it, guys. Let's play. Ah, oh, fucking god damn it! Please don't fuck up here. All right. All right. So it's, it's all right. All right, guys. Start new career. Let's play Mass Effect One. Let's begin again. I know, I know the basics already because uh, I played the first mission. But you know, uh, but yeah, let's do it. Uh, I don't know anything after that, but let's do it. Start new career, Mass Effect One. Let's begin. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Oh uh, God! Uh, connect a bit to connected. Uh, connect to the database, please. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Right. Uh, so I'm not going to be John Shep. Uh, one thing I didn't know is, you know, since this guy's the default, he has the best like animations and stuff. But honestly, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna manually enter this. So I'm just gonna read this here. Due to COVID in seven stages, ID records incomplete. Can you uh, confirm identity from the records below or register manually. So confirm your ID as CDR, John Shepard, Alliance Marines. But I don't want to be this guy. I want to be... Okay, enter a new ID. Manually enter career for your physical stats and normally crew database. Enter. Uh, quick start mail. Jump right into the game as a male soldier. Jump right into the game as a female soldier. She's actually pretty, pretty not going to lie. She's pretty. Uh, she has a like, gothic look to her. Uh, and create a custom female character, create a custom male character. Uh, right, so I'm going to do custom male here. Please log in to access your profile. Wait, okay, first name John. Obviously, I'm going to do the same thing as before. Spell it right. So, James. So, first name, James. And if you guys don't know, that is my first name. I'm James, right? Uh, there you go, there's my first name for you guys. Uh, so, first name, so you can call me Iceman or you can call me James. I don't give a fuck. Call me either. I don't give a shit. Uh, uh, and, uh, so yeah, James Shepard. Uh, technically, I'm going to be creating, well, well, let's just do this here. Let's establish. Look at those packets. Decrypting. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Reconstruct. Brilliant. Let's do it. Confirm pre service history. Honestly, I don't remember what I picked before. But I'm gonna read these. All right, space. So both your parents were born in the Alliance. Oh, yeah. when the Alliance military, your childhood was spent on ships and stations. They tra tra transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. 
Colonists. You're born and raised on Mindua, a small border, border colony, colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindua, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by passing a lines patrol and you listened to the military a few years later. Right. Uh, and then Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. Escape the life of petty crime and underworld games by listening to the Lights Mercy when you turned 18. Right, Earthborn. Confirm psychological profile. Right, so Soul Survivor. During a service, a mission we on went horribly wrong, trapped in an extreme survival situation and overcome physical oops, sorry. And to come physical torments and psychological stress that would have broken most people. Survived while well, those around you fell, and now you're left to tell the tale. War hero. Early in your military career, you find yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers to defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Finally, ruthless. Throughout your military career, if you had fast and more basic rule, get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for this efficiency makes your fellow soldiers aware of you, but when failure is not an option, military always goes to you first. Wait, I'm gonna be Soul Survivor. I don't know if I picked War, War Hero last time. I honestly do not remember. But I'm gonna pick Soul Survivor because you know this is this is the most I can relate to. You know, physical torment, psychological stresses, breaking people. You know, uh, you know, extreme extreme survival and shit like that. I can kind of relate in this way. So I'm a pixel survivor here. Confirm military specialization. And honestly, like I said, this guy who's about to be James L. Shepard, James Lewis Shepard, that's the full, the full name I'm going to give him. It's supposed to be my clone. It's supposed to be my cloned counterpart. You know, he has. May, he, has, he has a little bit different personality, but he's got the same stats, traits, and uh, you know knowledge that I have and shit like that. But he is completely independent. Right. So, Soldier. Sorry about my breathing, guys. I'm so sorry. So, this is what Soldier looks like. God damn it. Soldiers are com <gasps> Some soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers uh mm. They get improved health, can train the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to use medium armor, can specialize in heavy armor. I will say M soldier is most likely the is the most common, uh, from what I read. Soldier is the most common uh, class people take. Uh, but one thing I notice about soldier is soldier is the uh, this class here is the only class that you can have heavy armor in. Any other class, any of these, you are forced to wear. Right, so Vanguard is the only other, Vanguard and Soldier are the only ones uh, that can use medium armor. These four here can only use light armor, I'm pretty sure. Not sure about the Sentinel, but they can only use light armor. So light armor only, light armor only, light armor only, light armor only, I'm pretty sure this one. Medium armor. Maximum. Me light, medium, and heavy. So I like I like soldier. I'm gonna pick soldier, obviously, because you know I picked that last time. I'm gonna pick soldier because you know I can specialize in heavy armor. It's the only one who can specialize in heavy armor, and I want that armor. 
Right, so does come okay, so yeah. Engineer. Engineer oh, fucking it, god damn it. The engineer is a tech specialist using the holographic omni tool, which is I think this guy right here. I don't know, I don't fucking remember. They can decrypt security systems, repair, modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields. And here with their squad. Engineers can only use light armor. See? Only light armor can only receive weapons training with pistols. Oh, That's a bummer. Adept. Adepts are biotic specialists though. See? Through upgradable implants. Oh, good lord. They can use biotic powers to lift a through object, shield the squad, and disable and dis uh, destroy enemies. Adepts can only use light armor, can only receive weapon trainings and pistols. So it's kind of like, you know, false powers and shit like that. Basically. <sighs> instead of, you know, but, you know, instead of, you know, the midichlorians naturally giving false powers, uh, in this case, the difference is the midichlorians are there, but they are enhanced. And the way to actually use them at will is through, you know, implants and shit like that. You need that extra bit of uh, technology to actually, you know, uh, use the stuff. Okay. Mm. All right. Infiltrate. Uh, did it up, right? Right. Infiltrator. Infiltrators com uh, combine combat and tech abilities, specializing in killing or disturbing enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. Uh, they can use pistols or sniper rifles and medium armor. Okay, so I was wrong about that. So apparently, uh, damn it. Sorry. So apparently, the infiltrator can use medium armor too. So medium armor. Medium armor. Okay, this so that means light, light, and light. Light armor only. Light armor only. Light armor only. Medium armor only. Medium armor only. Light, medium, and heavy. All and all weapon types. And you know that's another thing. All weapon types. You know, soldiers can have all weapon types, whereas these guys are limited to like pistols and shit like that. Right. So you have the infiltrator. Oh, hey, sorry. Sentinel. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, use uh, biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend our lives. Uh, they can also disrupt opponents with biotic and tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only use light armor and receive no advanced weapon training. Dude, that's unfortunate. And then Vanguard. Vian Vanguards are biotic warriors. They can buy biotics and weapons to take down opponents and especially deadly at short range. They use pistol shotguns, specialized medium armor, right? Like I said, I'm gonna be soldier. So I'm gonna specialize in heavy armor and all that. Right? Okay, so soldier, here we go. Confirm facial identification. Wrong. So we do the same thing I did before. Aha! I'm gonna be Asian. Damn it. Fuck. I'm forgetting. You know, it's a little bit more boxy. You know, I'll do that. Skin tone. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll just leave it at that. Complexion? Oh, hell no. Scars. Those scars are actually pretty dope, but I'm not gonna, not gonna do scars. Head. Neck thickness. My neck is thin, so down. 
neck, uh, face size, small, cheek width, cheek bones. Well, that's a little bit weird. Do that. No, oh, just that. Just a little bit. There you go. Uh, cheek gaunt. What is the cheek gaunt? Oh, I don't know what the fuck. What actually is that? What the fuck? Uh. What? That's a bit weird, to be honest. Uh, I guess I'd just do that. Ears size. My ears are pretty small, so I'm actually gonna do that. Ears orientation. Keep that. Eyes. Oh, head. I don't know how to do that. Sorry. Eyes. Your eyes gotta go, mate. How can I? Damn it. I shape. Where is it? There it is. There's that shape right there. I height. Make my eyes a little bit low. I width. Oh shit. Fuck. Damn it. My eyes are not that big. Oh, my eyes are not that uh, far away, I think. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna, it's a little bit disproportionate, so I'm just gonna do that. Eye depth. Oh, that'll work. Brow depth. Alright, just that's just a little bit. Brow height. Um... Iris color. How my uh, clone is clone has. How can I? Where's the where's the actual? Well, that's that's like dark brown. My eyes are actually not really dark brown like that. They're more like shit. That's actually tough. They're more. You know what? Fuck, I don't know, man. Different shades of brown here. Uh, my eyes are. My eyes are kind of like that, actually. So, I'm gonna do my iris like that. Jaw. Oh, fucking it, damn it. Jaw. Chin height. Chin, okay, chin width, that needs, oh fuck, that needs to go. Jaw width. I have a small jaw. Uh, chin depth. No, just a little bit, so I have a little bit of a chin depth. The lips need to go, mate. Right? What did I do before? I don't fucking remember. I think I did. Did I? No. I didn't do that. Honestly, I think I just kept it the same. I just did that. Mouth width. Mouth lip size. Fuck it. Damn it. I have fairly small lips here. And then mouth height. A little bit lower. Uh, no. Fuck, damn it. A little bit lower. Alright, that'll work. 
Nose. Oh fuck, damn it, I keep hitting it. Nose. Alright, nose. Let's see here. Um Yeah, that nose needs to go. Where's the smaller one? This? No. I think it's that one. I think I did that, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Nose is fine. Nose depth. You know what? That's fine. And then hair. It's unfortunate you can't have, like, you know. Uh, long hair or anything. Uh, I just want to see what the beards look like. Uh, but I'm not going to do beards, you know, I'm not a beard guy. At all. But yeah, no beard please. And they all, they all look ho horrible by the way. <laughs> right, so... You know what? Like, this looks more Asian, like, honestly, like... And that looks... <laughs> right. That... Okay, I know I've always, I've always done this with the shorter hair here, or the, the lot, the you know most amount of hair here. But uh, honestly, you know what? I'm gonna switch up my clone just a little bit. Huh. That I do like this here. Like I don't like the fact that it's short hair, but. I like the uh, this like little how it comes off like this, like it's actually like you can see it's 3D. It's like high, it's a uh, it's higher resolution mesh. So uh, I'm actually gonna do this to be honest. It's gonna be a little bit weird though because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be used to this. Okay, hair color. Let's see what hair colors we have. Alright, black and Oh, I gotta switch the brow. The brow is really gonna piss me off. Oh that works perfectly. Alright. Hair I'm Asian as fuck. Just like last time. The only thing I have to change the hair. <laughs> right. Uh, and by the way, if you're curious, the hair was this before. This was what the hair was. Uh, but I'm actually switching it to that right there. So I'm going to do a little bit of a change up here. Alright, so that's it. Alright guys, actually the eyes. I'm going to move the eyes just over... I'm going to move the eyes just over a bit more. Just like that. How's that look? That looks better, actually. That looks better. <gasps> it, it looked a little bit unnatural. Right. I'm going to say that. Let's do it. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay, name James Shepard. Uh, origin Earthborn, reputation soul survivor, class of soldier. Alright, I need to take a thumbnail here. One sec. I need to wait till my clone looks at the camera properly. Okay, don't look at the camera directly, mate. Look off, look away from the camera. Mate. Fuck. I look, ah, damn it. I'm waiting for a good shot here. Oh, fuck. I don't know if he was blinking, if he blinked. Alright, he's looking at the camera. Damn it. Look away from the camera. Come on. Look left or something, mate. There you go. Fuck. Hold on. 
I'm taking a whole bunch of screenshots here because I'm not like there you go. Actually, that'll work. Right, so that's that's several screenshots there uh, with Dick's toy at the top left there. But you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just I, I just need to make sure I had a good uh, a good uh, thumbnail for it. All right, accept. Once you confirm your character is complete, you'll be able to change any settings. Confirm. Identification confirmed. All right, casual. Auto level up high. Uh, wait, oh yeah, all level up, off, sorry. Uh, target says high, defense only, subtitles all say. Alright guys, are we ready? Let's do, let's, let's play Mass Effect 1. And hopefully I don't, hopefully I don't lose my save files. I probably didn't lose my save files this time, but anyways, let's do this. Alright, here we go, guys. 1080p, max graphics, 30 FPS limited. Enjoy! PC, by the way. Obviously. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn? No record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on the cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. That guy right there? Admiral Hackett? Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting? He's the he's the voice of uh fucking of Shepard, actually, in, in, in Call of Duty Mortal for two. I'll make the call. It's the same guy. Alright, see if I can read this fast. In the year 2148, explorers on March discovered the remains of an ancient space faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these myster uh, mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, namely travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was the force to control the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. Civilizations of the galaxy call it. Mass Effect. Oh, God, look, good lord. That was hard to read. Because it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not there for a long time, so. I'll try to be quiet through cutscenes a little bit, but it, you know, some. Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. You know, I, I'll try not to, t I'll try not to talk through, you know, all of the dialogue. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. And by the way, again, I don't have my face cam here because you know this game is this game's like space and shit, at least from what I can see. So it's like I want the whole screen. You guys seeing the whole screen? You know, I don't want my you know I could have my face, but you know, yeah, boy. Fucking Asian, Asian badass right here. I wonder, will it lag here? It lagged here last time. Wow, that was interesting because last time I did this, it, uh, when I did the vid, it lagged. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Uh... What I've noticed is... Like, the things at the top seems to be, you know... More... Friendly and... Right. Uh... You know, like, this one... Like, this here... 
seems to be like you know more of a diplomatic uh, answer this is more neutral so this is like a good answer if you uh, not good but like this is you know a friendly professional answer whereas this is a neutral answer and this is like a total dick move answer so i'm gonna do i agree here they don't send specters on shakedown runs so there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. joker status report just cleared the mass relay captain stealth systems engaged everything looks solid good find a comm buoy and link us into the network i want mission reports relayed back to alliance brass before we reach the prime aye aye captain better brace yourself sir i think nihilus is headed your way he's already here lieutenant <laughs> Tell right. Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Uh, see, like this is this is neutral. This is kind of a dick move, and like this, you know, is he upset? You know, so I'm gonna do this. He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. Right. Uh, okay. So Zed is right. Damn, I'm looking fine. Oh, boss, boss, boss. How do I put it away? Oh, fuck. I wanted to, like, zoom in to my, to my body. Damn it. So I can get a better look. Right. Right, so save. Actually, what I'm going to do here. Click on dance and points. Right. Yeah, I already done this. I already did this. So actually what I'm going to do, fuck, what I do here? I don't fucking remember actually. You know what? There's three here. So what I'm honestly, honestly, you know what? Uh, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, journal. Prologue on the Normandy here. Right, you are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Officer uh, on the SSV Normandy. Speak to the cabin, go speak to Captain Adams in the comm room. Assignments, these I think are like, I don't know, uh, like side quests or something, I don't know. But yeah, uh, codex. Oh, I hate this part. So I have to, you know, read all this. God damn it. Uh, okay, so the players' tutorials. I'm not going to read these because you know there's no. First of all, I, I I don't remember if I did or not in the last video if I remember, if I played the tutorials. Uh, <coughs> like if I opened this up and went through basic controls and all that shit. I don't remember if I did that. Uh, in the last video if i did i honestly don't remember anything so like this is not even it doesn't even matter so it, i don't remember anything so i'm not going to go through this though this time all right so uh humanity and systems okay personal history summary background profile for commander shepherd so, so who we are profile You were born on Earth, but you never knew your parents. Child of the streets, you learned to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly of the megatropolises of Kanadi's homeworld. So, <sighs> eager to find a better life, you joined the Alliance military when you came of age, volunteered for an expedition to accuse. A lush world on the outskirts of Alliance Space that suddenly dropped out of contact. Arriving on the surface, you patrol found the settlement intact with no survivors. At nightfall, the Thresher Moors struck. Minus abominations of teeth and tentacles arose off from, the, from beneath the earth. Constant gunfire could not drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. Oh, God. 
Fifty Marines died in the Kuzi were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. Monument on the planet commemorates the massacre, a grim reminder of the price humanity must pay to spread as they spread throughout the stars. Dude, fucking hell, that's rough. Alright, so Humanity Systems Alliance is the alliance uh, is the government and military of, human of humanity. Beyond Soul. I believe Soul is the name of our son. That was it. So 2016, or 2069. Armstrong outposts the Shackleton Crater because the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th, 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. Uh, 2103, Lowo City and Eos Cosma uh, becomes the first human settlement on Mars. Twenty-one uh, thirty-seven. Elderfell Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates helium three fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. Twenty-one forty-two. Construction of uh, Gagarin Station, also known as Jump Zero, begins beyond the orbit of Pluto. Twenty forty eight prospectors discovered the Prothean ruins at Promethe Planum on Mars. Twenty forty nine translation of Prothean data leads humans to the Charon mass relay, or Sharon, I don't know, probably Sharon. Uh, Systems Alliance founded to coordinate exploration and colonization of extra-solar worlds. Yeah, twenty one fifty one shipping accident. Uh, at Singapore International Spaceport, exposes downward communities to containers of dust form element zero. Uh, Alliance begins construction of an Arctua station. 1252. Oh, fuck. Yeah, 2152. Roughly 30% of children born in Singapore after element zero exposure suffer from cancerous growth. Sisters Alliance begins settlement of the Earth's first extrasolar colony world, the planet Demeter. 2154. Uh, you know, Commander Shepard born. 2155, Alliance, uh, Alliance occupies complete portions of Arctura Station as a headquarters. 2156, some children in Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic abilities. 2057, Turians encounter human explorers first contact war. Uh, occupation and liberation of the human colony of Shanxi. 2158 humans learn potential of biotics. Uh, an international effort to track element zero exposures begins. Roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. Yeah, 2160. Systems Alliance Parliament formed. During 65, humans established embassy on Citadel. Yeah, 2170, Batarian slavers attacked that alliance corner at Mindua. Yeah, 2176, Skillian Blitz, Paris slavers attacked Elysium, the human capital at, capital, uh, at the Skillian Verge. Oh, in the Skillian Verge. Sorry. Yeah, 2177, Thrusher was devour the Alliance colony of accused. So that's when I have the issue. Or oh, that happens. <sighs> what the fuck's wrong with me? Uh, yeah, 2178, retaliation for the skin name, but that's Alliance fleet wipes out an army of slavers in the middle of Torfan, and 2183 is the current day. How old are we? So 2183 is our current day. Uh, Alright, so we are... Uh, 
Wait, hold on. We are 29 years old. Or my clone is, anyway. 29 years old. And then the Thresher Moors devour the Alliance at 2177. Uh, okay, so that's... That's six years before the current date. So 60 years ago is when this happened. If I'm, uh, I was 23 when that happened. Oh god. You know what's really scary about that? The clone was 23 when the, when the thresh, when this happened here. My clone was 23. I'm 23 right now. Oh god. So it's like, my age now witnessing that. Oh damn. That's god awful. Right. Uh, okay, so priority. Uh, first, we're going to learn about the Humanity Systems Alliance, the Alliance of Government Military of Humanity Beyond So. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. Right, so that's the Systems Alliance. Now we're doing the council races here. The three most politi politically important species in the galaxy. Right, so I believe it's Tyrion first. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157 which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Alright, sorry guys. Alright, so let's do this. Right, so... Uh, I'm gonna save here. Cause why the fuck not? Why not just save here, you know? I mean, that's a sick picture there. Look at that. Oh, why the fuck? Why'd I do that? God damn it. I'll make sure it's there though. Right. 
Right. Right, so let's see here. You probably don't the captain's waiting for you in the com room, Commander. Oh shit, sorry. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Right, so that's what he says, and then the captain's waiting for you in the com room, Commander. The captain's waiting for you in the com room, Commander. The captain's waiting. You probably don't want to keep the captain right. waiting, Commander. Eh, eh. Right, sorry. Fuck, I can't see anything. What the hell? Why oh, is this so bad? Right, so let's go. You're gonna give yourself an answer, that's funny. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh, yeah, he wants to see me. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Alright, so what I do is I always do this. This is like for uh, knowing, like, this is, uh, yeah, for like learning new, th like, fucking more dialogue. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's like, uh, investigation stuff, I would say. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Right, see, investigate. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Right. And then, uh, stealth systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Uh, see, this is where, like, you can be an asshole and shit like that, but a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Right. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. This guy's an asshole. A lot of friends when the Turians hit us. See, like I said, you can do, you know, you can be a dick and everything, but... But, like, come on, mate. That was a long time ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. Oh, my God. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. See, alright, this guy's a dick. Alright, I can do, I'll look into it, this is more diplomatic. Uh, you know, this is just neutral and this is a dick, the dick move. <laughs> Right, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, mate. Oh shit, they got it here. Something I can do for you, Commander? Uh, I wonder. I was curious about a few things. You and me both. Like I said before, too many things don't add up on this mission. I better head down and see the captain. Yes, sir. Something I can do for you, Commander? 
Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Something I can do for you, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. I actually like, uh, I like Shepard with this hair more. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get the codex here. Secondary. Damn it! Got ships and vehicles. Right, so you have sensors. Okay. So, light lag prevents sensing in real time at great distances. A ship firing its sources at the Chiron relay can be easily detected from Earth. 5.75 light hours. Fit, uh, 6 billion kilometers away. But Earth will only see the event 5 hours and 45 minutes uh, after it occurs. Due to the light speed limit, defenders can't see enemies uh, uh, coming until they have already survived. Oh, oh right, sorry. Uh, because there is uh, FTO travel and communications, but no. Uh, and FTO, I, I, I'm assuming that's faster than light. Because there is faster than light travel and, communica and communications, but no uh, flight faster than light travel uh, sensors. Uh, frigates are crucial for scouting and picket duties. Passive sensors are used for long range detection, while active sensors obtain short range, high quality targeting data. Ah, like FLIR. Forward looking infrared. Uh, passive sensors include visual, thermographic, and radio detectors uh, that watch and listen for objects in space. A powered ship grids emits a great deal of energy, heat of life support systems. Radiation given off by power plants and electrical equipment, exhaust thrusters. Starships stand out plainly against the near absolute zero background of space. Uh, passive uh, sensors can be used during FTO travel, but incoming data is significantly distorted by the effects of the mass effect of a Doppler shift. I wonder if any of this shit's true. If it is, that'd be so fucking awesome. Active sensors are radars and high resolution la radars. Uh, laser detection and ranging that emit a ping of energy and listen for return signals. So, it's uh, it's like how computers talk to each other in a network. Ping, right? Uh, Lidars have a narrower field of view than radar, but radar resolution uh, allows images of detected objects to be assembled. Active sensors are useless when the ship is moving at. Uh, fuss and light speeds. Right. Assistant, right. Humanity's first contact with an alien race occurred in 2157. At that time, the Alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered. A practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by Council-aligned races. When a Torian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they attacked. One human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Torians followed, quickly defeating the local forces. Shanxi was occupied, the first and to date only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Torians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses. So they were unprepared when the second fleet, under Admiral Castany Drescher, launched a strong counter-offensive, evicting them from Shanxi. The Torians mobilized for full-scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The Council quickly intervened, forcing a truce. Fortunately for humanity, the first contact war was ended with a diplomatic solution. Oh my gosh. Wow. That would have sucked ass. <laughs> All right. All right, so here we go. All right, guys. Uh, had to, I had to do something real quick. I had to do something uh, off camera. So uh, uh, I actually had to... I actually had to quit the game and, uh, and you know, reload the game and stuff, but, uh, you know, I saved here, so, uh, but what I noticed is, like, uh, when I loaded in here, 
uh, there's no music anymore for some reason. Don't know why. Oops. Jenkins. Uh, right. Hello, Jenkins. Ah, uh, this guy, man. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Uh, investigate here. Dude, I'm, I actually look pretty dope. I, I like, I like this new, uh, the new, uh, the new, uh, you know, mesh I have here for, for, for my, uh, pretty help, my, uh, my clone. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the field back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy oh, for a takedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. <laughs> right. Fucking okay, night, damn it. Uh, it's just another mission that's a dick move. Right, I'm going to do Spectres here. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization... She has a very high-class British accent. Actually, I like it. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget I don't, that part. I'm, I don't know, um... Above the law. Fuck, I, I think I've I heard the voice actress there. I've, I've heard her before. Uh, I don't know who she is, though. Uh... What? Okay. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. Mmm. -hmm. Uh, show some respect, you're a dick, mate. Uh, right. Uh, there's, that's a bad memory, mate. I try not to think about it, Coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? Uh, yes. Uh, Nihilus. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. <laughs> You'll do fine, mate. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coup. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Right. Uh, so again, this is neutral. This is kind of like a dick move. Uh, this, is, this is like rude. And this is, you know, be careful. I'm, just be careful, mate. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Right. Goodbye. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Sir. 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 Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Uh. 
The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Right. Sir. Uh, there's anything here? No. Uh, Syria Galactic Government. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, uh, a master space station that says political and economic capital of galactic culture. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Solarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. Right. Alright, so I'm gonna go here. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know what that does. No, let's say uh, hello, mate. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Uh, where's Captain Anderson, mate? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Uh, honestly, I would not know. <laughs> I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, uh, wait, what are you asking, mate? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Ah, oh, I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. <laughs> Should've told me, dick move. Uh, wait. Pick up. Right. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Uh, I don't know what that is. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Uh, so it could affect... Why? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. 
The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Uh... Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Uh... What the fuck? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Uh, is this okay, Captain? <laughs> I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Alright, uh... I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Uh, Prisians. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they told us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Oh, uh, like who? <laughs> like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Uh. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Roger. I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Oh god, this part. Bring it up on screen. Oh no. Uh, oh, I hate this. I hate this scene. God, this is scary. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the subject. Oh my god, this is scary. Fuck. 
Status report. <laughs> 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to save <laughs> the Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Dude, that is so scary. You guys know I hate fucking aging stealth systems. Uh, robots and stuff. And if you don't, somebody was doing some serious digging here. If you don't, then I have a phobia of robots. There you go. Your team's the muzzle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Where's that? What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Pilot, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Wait, uh, so the radio silence, uh, he can count on us, mate. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Dude, the, the fucking... Look at that. Look at that. Dude. You know what, I'm just going to do a save here. That's why not. Oh dude, that's awesome. Look at that picture there. That's cool. Squad. Click on a time and spend points. Prove that ability. Must have a time for no information. Select a squad. Right. Let's see. Hmm. It boosts your shoes biotic barrier to what to put to damage. Right. Uh, source 40 health. Okay, right. You know what? I will bring you here. First aid. Uh, deploys many or to all squad members, restoring their health and barrier. I'll give you that, mate. Adds a biotic barrier to a shoe that absorbs damage. <gasps> but <coughs> cannot block attacks that put my shoes. Right. Let's see, if I do auto level up, what does this do? Okay, overkill. Those long bursts of accurate assault rifle fire. Right. And for me, that's the same here. Wait, why is my renegade up? What the hell? I believe the Paragon's the good shit, the Renegade's like when you're an asshole and shit. Why is this up and this is down? I don't like that at all. I must. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna try to s switch that. Right, uh, Prologue, find the beacon. You're in charge of the ground op uh, team drop with an eat prime line, it's calling an attack. Your primary goal is to find secure the Prothean beacon. Head to the dig site. Uh, make your way to the excavation site where the beacon was unearthed. Codex. Thing here, brilliant. Plants and locations. Uh, the Milky Way galaxy contains 200 400 billion stars, most of the host of planets. Alright. The terminus systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse, beyond the space administered by the Citadel Council or claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. It is populated by a loose affiliation of minor species, 
united only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the Council or adhere to the Citadel Conventions. Their independence comes at a price. The Terminus is fraught with conflict. War among the various species is common, as governments and dictators constantly rise and fall. The region is a haven for illegal activities, particularly piracy and the slave trade. At least once a year, a fleet from the Terminus invades the nearby Attican Traverse. These attacks are typically small raids against poorly defended colonies. The Council rarely retaliates, as sending patrols into the Terminus systems could unify the disparate species against their common foe, triggering a long and costly war. Oh, it makes sense. Uh, damn it. Sorry. Right, and then alien sixteen graces. Space thing species that were extinct thousands of years before the present. Fifty thousand years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Ah, interesting. Right. Uh, right, that's it. Yeah. One thing I learned is, like, look, uh, you see how, like, uh, Jenkins is to the left of me? If I press E on him to, like, talk to him or whatever, watch, watch Shepard's head. He will turn his head to the, to the, to his right. He, he will turn his head to his right to look at Jenkins as he talks. Watch. See? See? Right. See? And conversely, if I talk to uh, Caden, uh, I noticed. Uh, I know Shepard will turn his head to the left, watch. See? And if I do Jenkins again, turn his head to the right. And I do Caden. See? Look at that. Look how awesome this looks. Fuck. Here to show you what.
Oops. Pause. Let me do that. Okay, open combat sensor. Nice. Codex. All right, weapons, armor, and equipment. Advances in the technology have made individual soldiers more dangerous and survival than ever before. Upgrades. Those are some sick guns. Look at that, dude. Uh, okay. The development of practical manufacturing omni tools allows modern militaries a great deal of flexibility in equipment loadouts. A vast number of field modification kits or upgrades are available for common equipment, such as weapons. Armor, Omni tools, biotic amps, and even grenades. An upgrade kit uh, typically consists of less than a dozen unique parts and an optical storage disk. When loaded into an Omni tool, the optical storage disk provides all technical specifications. Uh, required to manufacture the tools and additional parts necessary to install the upgrade onto another piece of equipment. Assembly is typically modular and installation can be completed in less than a minute. Since Omni tools are designed to use common battlefield salvage materials such as plastic, ceramics and light metals, uh, sometimes rendered into semi-molten Omni gel for quick use. It is quite possible for a trained soldier to carry upgrade kits to customize gear on the battlefield to fit the current tactical situation. That's dope, dude. Pause. Oh shit, I forgot about this. They burn alive, dude. Dude, that's scary. There's more, look at that. That means hold, by the way. Hold position, sorry. When he has the fist up like that. That means move forward, basically. Oh, this part. Oh, no. I hate this part. Fuck. Balls. Oh. Damn it. Jenkins. We can't help him now. Uh, forget about him. That's a dick move. He deserves a burial, mate. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Paragon plus two. Brilliant. Fuck. 
Oh, poor Jenkins, man. God damn it. Jono, find the beat here. Yeah. Seems you're dig site. Jenkins is dead, but you're off to press onto the dig site. Squad. Okay, then. Okay, yes, plus two. This unlocks electronics, that's like stasis and shit. Hmm. You know what? You go up with the decryption, mate. I'm gonna do. Ooh. A little bit tricky here. I will do one. And. I'll get the shield boost. One. Two. Three. Shield boost. We're still pushing your shields even while you're under fire. Beautiful. The reason I did the charm up is because that way I can open up new lo uh, dialogue options and shit. Weapons, armor, and equipment. And advances. Oh, right, sorry. Kinetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. This affords protection from bullets and other dangerous projectiles, but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. The shielding afforded by kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. I do have to say, the concepts they have in this game are fucking brilliant. Like the way they made this game, the way they've thought up all this shit is fucking awesome. Oh god. Untrained weapon, what the hell? But this is damage and accuracy. Oh no. Oh, balls. Good night. Fuck. Wait, what the hell? What did he just use on him? Is that press space bar? Put an untrained weapon with just damage and accuracy. Okay. Uh, who has an untrained weapon? Oh! That's what that does. So he used defense shit. Okay. Tactics are issue orders. Right. I look around. Right. Uh, untrained weapon. Oh, untrained, I see. So, uh, Caden should be pistol only. And actually, I will go pistol too, to be honest. And I didn't want him using those shields, so I'm actually going to, believe it or not, I'm actually going to get rid of that defense shit. Like, yeah, so in the settings where it has, like, uh, where it has uh, squad power uses defense only. I'm actually, oops, acted, yeah, I will do disabled, because, nope, I'll do disabled here.
I don't want him like using shit that I may need him to hold on to, you know. Sink and record number. Nice. Ooh, plus a Medi Joe. Nice. Could not much should the gas bound creature have a personal space for that pulse again. Wait. If you're in the moment, the shaman's name code that weapon, you can switch weapons for any squad member and this way release space buttons in the game. Yeah, I will do this. Oh, good lord. Look at that fucking reticle. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he got it. Nice. Let's give it a shot here. Balls. This is so hard. Damn. Uh. Oh no, pause. Not now, Commander. What do you mean, not now? Oh shit, there's an enemy out there. Take out those hostiles. Not now, Commander. Take out those hostiles. That's all he says. Not now, Commander. Take out those hostiles. Which ones? Where? I don't see anyone. Where the ho oh god. Negative contacts, Commander. Why? See, I'm ch I'm equipped in all this. I'm a little bit slow, guys. I'm, I'm tired, to be honest. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh nice. Good job, girl. What the hell? Oh balls! I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Oh god, those things. Oh no. I got you, sweetheart. Oi. I got you, I got you. Come on, get out of the cutscene. Pause. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, that hurt. How are you? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? We're on a mission now, let's take move. Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Uh what happened to your squad? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them. No, oh, that's a dick move. Uh, don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? 
They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Stay here, dig move. Take us there. Uh, join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Oh, I like this chick. Mr. Gate. Uh, Nihilus? Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Right, okay. Uh, for the attack. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. The scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Uh, beacon. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. Sorry. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. And the scientists? What happened to the oh, course. Sorry, the right. site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Yes. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited oh my God, no. created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. That's scary. Move out. Banshee, right. Pressing I opens the equipment screen, which allows you to switch and modify the weapons, armor, or other items used by a squirrelless. Okay. And yes, we can talk with helmet and shit like that. It's just aesthetic. I, I, I always I like that though. Could the pistol Ashley gave you? She gave me a pistol? Double click the weapon to equip it. Click the ammo upgrade slot, store your armor, armor upgrade slot, it's located but right. She gave me a pistol. Give me an assault rifle though. Alright, so I'm not going to fully do that. Let's see. So I have a bunchy here. He can only use pistols. Let's see what she has here. She has a 120. She has a 120. Let's see, I have a Lancer 1. So what I'm going to do is actually give her this. Actually, what I'm going to do, hold on. I'm going to read this here. Reliable and efficient, earth based, uh, Kane or Hane Keda has become a major supply in the systems lines military. Their weapons are considered stock quality at best, or the, their armor lines are generally considered as above average. Assault rifles are the standard armament of most soldiers, offering good balance between firepower, range, and accuracy. Let's look at the Banshee here. Elanus began uh, as a privately owned Turian security firm. It is expanded to an instant conglomerate. After opening itself up to foreign investment, their affordable yet reliable body armor weapons and omni tools are popular with security personnel and mercenaries. Nice. So I'm actually going to give her that. I'm going to give her this. And this is the same thing, actually. 
It's literally the same thing. So what I'm going to do actually is reduce this to only chill. So we have that. That's assault rifles there. Shotgun. Shotguns have slow rate of fire and high recoil, but can inflict massive damage to multiple targets at close range. Pistols have low recoil and high accuracy and are easy to use while moving. They are only effective at close range and inflict limited damage. It's true. Sniper rifles have long range and high accuracy, inflicting significant damage. However, they have a limited rate of fire and are virtually useless at close range. Very true. Omni tool. Aldrin Labs is a human manufacturer based on the Lunar Colony, uh, providing basic, reliable equipment at affordable cost. Has made them a primary supply of armor, Omni tools, and bio arms systems lines military. Omni tools are multi-purpose <laughs> diagnostic and manufacturing tools used for a variety of battlefield. <laughs> Fucking eight, sorry. Battlefield tasks. Solaris Amp One. What? Oh God. Amplifiers increase biotic abilities by synchronizing the element zero nodes within the user's central nervous system. Dude, that's so scary. So light armor. This is what light armor looks like. Lightweight and comfortable armor affords basic protection from enemy attacks and minimizes movement penalties affecting weapon accuracy. Grenade launcher. Alliance grenades are metal discs capable of sticking to an any flat surface. They can be triggered remotely after charging a target or detonate automatically after 10 seconds. So I have medium armor. Medium armor uh, offers an increased level of protection but also increases uh, movement penalties affecting weapon accuracy. Soldiers need extra training to wear it. Right. Do I have anything for this? Uh, every weapon. Uh, right. Every weapon has at least one weapon and one ammo upgrade slot. Click the weapon icon to access weapon upgrades for this weapon. Click the ball icon to access. Right. Alright, so nothing here. Do I have anything here? I do. Combat sensor. Some enemies use German technology to block your weapon radar. Combat scanner improves, improves detection levels, making uh, these enemies visible. C. Recoil damper. Reduce the kickback to improve accuracy. Heatsink 1. Absorbs and dissipates heat, gener uh, typically generating firing a weapon. You know what? I'm going to do this here. We'll click an ammo upgrade to store in your weapon. Don't have any ammo upgrades here. Alright, resolves and dissipates heat typically generating firing a weapon. Right, uh, actually, you know what? I think. What's this here? Nothing here. Maybe I'll give something to Caden here. Right, sorry, Caden. Since I can only really use pistols, I'm going to give him the. I'll give him that. And Ashley Sweetheart, I'm going to give you. Fuck. Uh, combat sensor. Oh, but it's combat sensor for only a specific weapon. Damn it. 
I don't know what she would prefer to use, but I'm going to give her the combat sensor on here. Because I know if I get, I can't give her the combat sensor. Yeah, right, it's only on the... Right, it's only on the specific weapon. So yeah, I got, what is that, what is that? Record that, but right. Wait, did I give him a record? What the fuck did I give him? Oh, he'd sink. Right. Press you to go to the squad screen, right. Hey, sweetheart. Uh, okay, that's zero zero. She's pretty, dude. All right, I'm gonna give you. I want her to be able to have heavy armor. So what I'm gonna do is give her give her up to shield boost right now. Okay. And then I'm going to give her two of these. Okay, it's 3 5 health per sec. Mine is just one, she has two. Right, that'll work. Sorry. Aliens, non council races, space fang species without political power to select galactic policy. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus Vale, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust lies between their space and the Terminus systems. These guys, so these guys here. Like when I first saw this, you know, where, where they should talk about like human rights and network AIs and stuff. When I first did this in the first video, you know, before I lost my saves and stuff. This game is instantly a horror game. This is a horror game for me. No, I'm gonna save. You know, quick save is six, right? Six, right? That's a quick save. That's a quick save. White armor, human, scorpion. Ooh, that'll be good for. Ah, ooh, beautiful. So we got here. Click the filter tab, switch between item types, select item for the right. I'll figure this out. Uh. Wow, he's only has damage. As f his damage protection is five. Good lord, that's horrible. Yeah, I'm giving you this, mate, and we are getting rid of this Onyx one. We're getting rid of that forever, dude. Fuck that shit. You get that permanently. Right, so that's what we have here. 
All my piercing rounds specifically designed to puncture metal. These rounds specifically effective against synthetic targets. Uh, radioactive rounds. Rounds is uh, start with a mini school amount of radioactive material and dissimilar those the radiation against the targets. Right, actually, I don't know. For this, uh, I'm probably not going to put it in here, I'll put it in the pistol. The armor piercing. And then, as far as this, I'm going to put radioactive rounds. Uh, no, actually, radioactive rounds in the shotgun. Like so. Alright, let's talk. No shit, mate. Check your targets. Could be friendly. We should move, Commander. Do you have anything to say, sweetheart? We thought this world was safe until the Geth showed up. It used to be beautiful here. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Let's get the bastards. We should move. Right, let's go. Dude, that's so fucked up. Oh, fuck, sorry. Well, I actually need to take these out anyway. Run to the waypoint, color, right. Oh, no. Uh, hold on, fuck, right. Armor piercing, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh god, that's a scary sound. Fuck you, bitch. One thing I learned is when, like, you see how Ashley just said, huh, for a sec there? That means that she has something to say. That's what I heard, anyway. Uh, she has something that, she, she has, like, a, 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 something that she wants to say about the situation. So, uh, first of all, let's, let's see what Kaden has to say. That man was still alive when they stuck him on the spot. Killing us isn't enough. The death to suffer. Right. Uh, let's see what Ashley has to say. Psychological warfare, probably. Psychological warfare. Yeah. Using as a so that's what they have to say. Interesting. I want to get this here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. What's what? Good lord. Uh, hold on. Codex. Secondary. No, thank fuck. One's on my equipment. I'm not up the sheet, right? Let's, uh, hold on. Let me, let me equip this stuff first. So we have a shotgun. I don't really use shotguns ever. So this is 15, 128. So this is more powerful. 
And also have a sniper that's actually pretty good. Uh, this is god awful. Um, she will probably use sniper more than me. Because I'm not going to use the sniper. So she's going to do that. And this is actually the same thing as mine. Fuck. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to actually get rid of this. So you have Hurricane, you have this Schmitter. Okay, so you have the Hurricane, and you have this. Alright, I'm gonna give her this one. And this has damage 102, so that's kinda, of, that's bad, obviously. Uh, oh, fucking hell, why'd I do that? Uh, so the storm, actually, I'm going to do this here. So I have two storms here, and I'm just going to reduce both of them. Right, there we go. But yeah, let me just show you uh, from what I from what I can tell. Like, if I want, like, Kate, if I if I want. Uh, my helmet off or and I want Caden's helmet off you know I can turn both off uh, you know it, I can I can pick and choose it doesn't even matter uh, but I want my helmet on I like that cosmetic uh, that cosmetic look even though it like doesn't do anything for protection in reality it kind of makes me I don't know it feels better that way combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer the inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight, ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed will trigger the barrier's reflex system and be deflected, provided there is enough energy left in the shield's power cell. Armored hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini frame and a communications, navigation, and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon's smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. See that basic concept right there? that you're wearing a suit that has all this fucking like fucking electronics in it and shit that's scary to me like it doesn't have to be a you don't have to be a cyborg like cyborg scare me obviously but you don't have to it doesn't have to be a cyborg you can just be wearing a suit like for example uh like iron man you know like iron man the the dc character or whatever you know iron man how he has like that uh that suit that has, you know, like, you know, it has, you know, guns and shit like that and all that other, you know, stuff and mowers and fucking rockets and stuff, you know what I'm talking about? So, the suit that Iron Man uses, that shit, it would be scary. That shit in itself is scary to me. Like, it's weird. With Iron Man, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's cool, but it's still, it's like terrifying. It's very scary. Like, like, I would never, ever, ever uh put a suit on like that ever because that would be that would be ex that would be like that would be that would be absolutely horrifying to me so it doesn't have to be a it doesn't have to be you know uh you know an actual robot or a cyborg or anything uh it it can be just a suit right dig sight this is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We're wasting time. No. Any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. What? Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Roger. Hello, Father. Right. 
Video games have been taken from the dig site, maybe confirm clues by investigating the re nearby research camp. I love how like when you walk up a hill, you actually walk up slowly. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Actually it is. He's right. Oh shit. The hell? Oh good lord, these things. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, See, these are the things that are absolutely terrifying to me. Like, oh, good lord! When I like when I saw this, it's like this game is instantly like this is horror game, guys. This is instant horror game. The grenade at his feet. Yeah, no. Let me just kill the damn thing, please. Oh, fine. Goodbye, mate. Do not get back up. Pause. Get out of here! Shit! Dude, that was so scary. Oh my god. I hate these goddamn things. See, so, you now Caden wants to say something. So, actually, they both say something. Whoever, uh, uh, I'm pretty, well, that's what I saw anyway. Let's see. Kaden, what do you have to say, mate? Oh, damn it. Hold on. Let me go back to that quick save, actually. I'm actually going back to that quick save. Because... He should have said something, but he didn't. I'm gonna do that again. He wanted to say something, but he didn't, so. I wanted to hear what he said. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Go down these things, man. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Dude, that is so fucking scary. Good lord. Alright. Grenade. Right. Fuck. That's so goddamn scary, guys. Score, let's see here. So, you know what? This is perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna do this here just so I have it. And then, I'll do this here. Ashley, sweetheart, you do. I'll get you up here. Oh, you know what? You know what? One of each. Oh, that's that. Actually, that's perfect. Yeah. Right. So you got that, and you got that. Okay, then, mate. You get uh, unlock electronics. Actually, no, do that. Overload can use electronic skill on easy objects. Fuck it, dude. 
Diamonds is never an enemy shoots in the center radius. Let's do that, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Aliens, non sapient creatures, common non sapient life forms. Oh my god, guys. I hate these things. After the Geths secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth, a reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. <laughs> My god, guys, those things are so goddamn scary. I hate those things. Fuck. Something over here, so I need to grab it. What is in here? Sniper rifle, rifle, hammer one. That's a good call sign, by the way. Hammer one. That's a good call sign. Not gonna lie. 92. You gotta be shitting me, dude. A bit unfortunate to be honest. Nice, this is open. And the graphics, I must say, the graphics are pretty dope. Let's see, what is it? What the hell is this? Crate open. Light armor. Ooh, heavy armor, human? Dude. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's just see here. Right, so heavy armor, guardian the third, guardian two. Heavy armor offers maximum protection against enemy fire, but has the highest movement penalties affecting weapon accuracy. Only specially trained frontline soldiers can wear it. Awesome. I got this here. Does she have the smitter? Yeah, she does. So I get my own version. Brilliant. Brilliant. A Volus manufacturer based on the Terminus sim uh, systems, the Elquist Combine produces less expensive versions of items created by high-end manufacturers. Functionally yet affordable armor, weapons, and only tools are all available from the Elquist Combine. Right, let's do this. So, oh shit, there's, there's people in there, here. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's decrypt this. Use the movement keys W, A, D, and S to advance uh, to the central core. Avoid security programs. 
So you can do manual override, overriding 25. I'll, I always do manual. Well, I mean, I will always do manual. Beautiful. You can also override difficult locks for spending on the jail. Omni jail can be acquired from defeated opponents. Quest rewards, tech containers, converting on needed items and equipment. Great. Beautiful. Hello. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Uh, just safe. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Dude, that guy, this guy is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Uh Tuck. What else can you tell me about the attack? It, it all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the geths swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of Dude, he's so annoying. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. The only reason I'm not being a dick right now. Then everything went quiet. We just Sorry. sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. The only reason I'm not being a dick right now, uh, to him, or talking, or being funny, or whatever, is because, uh, no, I already saw this, so there's really no point, to be honest. Uh, uh not this. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen her, Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Right, beacon. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances, who knows what secrets are locked inside. We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. <laughs> Manuel, please, this isn't the time. Okay. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Uh, is it madness to what? see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards People might call me a genius, but I'm not a mad, bitch. No. Come on, huh? No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. No. Alright. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Alright, so I'm gonna... Yes? Is there something you need? Sorry. We better get moving. Good luck, Commander. Luck won't save you. Oh my god. Let's you know what? You're wasting your time. The age of humanity is over. Our extinction is inevitable. Uh... Manuel. I need to ask you something. It's probably best if you just leave him alone. All right. I don't have time for this. True. <laughs> time? Our time is over. My God, he's so fucking annoying. Anything in here that I can take? No. Right. So you got journal. Spaceport. Dr. Warren informed me the beacon was taken to Eden Prime Spaceport and need to get the poor the guest claim it as their own. Oh, fuck, sorry. Balls. Right, let's 
do this. Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're stuck, but uh, I'm pretty sure that this will fix it. Hopefully. Hello, mate. Sarah. Dude. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Wow. Look at that. And the sounds. What the fuck? Dude, those sounds were fucking awesome. Dude, that was scary. Oh shit, there's more of these, there's, there's these guys here. Oh, nice. Uh, where are the, where are these guys? Where the fuck? Where are these guys? Oh, there's one. That was radiation, I meant to... No, I didn't mean to use radiation. I meant to use the pistol stuff. Area Damn it. I'm forgetting what's what. What do, what do they have in each? Oh, I got another combat. Oh, no, 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 okay. She's got a combat sensor on there. Uh, wait, she has nothing else. What does my pistol have? I keep fucking forgetting. Alright, so the... Oh, the pistol has a radio act. Oh, no, no, sorry. God damn it. This has armor piercing, right? Let's do this. There's people in there. Some only gel, and I also got a grenade. And the reason... I had the charm this here go all the way up is because this allows me to well you'll see because you know I did this I did this part already so you'll see I'll be able to uh, activate or uh, use some specialized dialogue options that I otherwise would not be able to if I didn't up the charm all the way okay so let's do that in manual override pause oh no Fuck. 
I haven't felt that in a long time. I can do it again? Oh shit. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Uh, it's safe. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. We made a break for the sheds. I wonder, can I do a quick save? No, I cannot. Good. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Possibly. Uh, Beacon? Do you know anything about the Protean Beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Ship. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of Mario is jamming? Only it was coming from inside your own head. Yeah, was it a jamming signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Right. Right. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. Damn it, mate. You should come clean. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Right, uh, smuggling is a crime, mate. And this is like a dick move, but, you know, smuggling is a crime, mate. Come on, then. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Doesn't matter. Well, most of the time, I don't even know what's in the packages. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came That's if? You'll probably get more use out of it than we will. See, so you're holding out on me. See, I'm not even able to... I'm not even able to hit that. Right? Yeah, then you can just say thanks, but the fact that I have charm all the way up, I can say, is that all? Okay, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this blue thing here. And the reason I can't do this is because, you know, I, I don't have any intimidate, so. Is that all? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over. You probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. See, here we go. Look, see? He may know something, mate. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. All right. Her oh, fuck. Put on Stinger and Combat Sensor. Nice. You need something? Uh. I have to go. Good luck. Right. So. Equipment. I get. Oh, I got an another pistol, and this is actually really nice. That's a nice pistol. All right. That's ninety. This is tough, actually. Oh, fuck. You know what? I'm actually gonna grab this. Kessler. Yeah, Kessler. Remember that. 
Devlon industry is best known for producing basic armor models that can withstand a variety of environmental extremes such as cold heat or toxic exposure. They also mark a complete line of military grade weapons. Oh, fucking eight, sorry. Oh, I can upgrade with the combat sensor? I have another one, oh shit. I didn't realize that. Okay, so she has a combat sensor. Oh, hold on. Yeah, she has a combat sensor there. And on that. And I'm gonna put a combat sensor. Hmm. I'll put a combat sensor on this. Probably not the best idea, but put a combat sensor on there. There we go. We're just a small farming colony. Why did they attack us? Yeah. Those things would have killed us if you hadn't come along. Look at cold. How can you be so calm? I have no idea. All that smoke on the horizon must be coming from the spaceport. We're just a small farming colony. Oh sure, it's it, she's repeating. You need something? Oops, sorry. Have to go. Look at all that smoke. I came here to get away from the stress of living on Yeah. <laughs> I signed a three year contract to work the farms, but I have had enough of this place. Makes sense, mate. Look at that smoke. Space wars probably will. It'll be weeks before I can leave this stupid colony. First chance I get, I'm heading back to Earth. I don't care what Cole says. I came here to get away from the stress of living on Earth. Yeah. I signed a three year contract to work the farms, but I have had enough of this place. We're just a small farming colony. Why did they attack us? Those things would have killed us if you hadn't come along. Look at that smoke. The space was probably worse. It'll be weeks before I can leave this stupid colony. First chance I get, I'm gonna back to Earth. I don't care what happens. Sorry, I just like to loop it back. I came here to get away from the stress of living on Earth. Yeah. I signed a three year contract to work the farms, but I have had enough of this place. Look at that smoke. Space Force probably will. It'll be oh, I can't even tell. Yeah, when it stopped. Damn it. Oh well. First chance I get, I'm heading back to Earth. I don't care what Cole says. I came here to get away from the stress of living on Earth. Oh, pause. Yeah. I'm going in here. Anything in here? Oh! Easy electronics. Oh shit. If I didn't have electronics. Oh yeah, guys, look. If I didn't have electronics, uh, I wouldn't be able to undo this. Yeah, this is. Look, this is. Uh, if I didn't have a. Uh, If I didn't have Kate in here, I wouldn't be able to open this. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Hold on, I got this. Oh, I got it. I don't know how long, I don't know how many time I had left, but I got it. Oh my god, that was close. I'm stealing all of your shit. I bet, I almost didn't make that, guys. So she has Avenger. Ooh, I get an Avenger. Yeah, look. Get rid of the Lancer, dude. Fuck yes. So we have this, Ashley. Okay, so we don't actually. Ninety, ninety. Ooh. Honestly, I actually don't know to be honest. 
what I'm going to do. Probably, you know what? I'm going to give Ashley this here. Yeah. Give her the Kessler at least. And yeah, I know I can't use this, but. Get rid of that. So yeah, this is medium I like recently, right? So next train, right? So a biomedical firm, CIRTA, made its fortune eliminating several genetic diseases endemic to its human populations. The foundation is renowned for its humanitarian efforts and refuses to produce weapons or similar offensive products. Do, however, offer basic protective or utilitarian items ranging from armor to omni to biotic arms. I'm a little bit tired, so I do apologize. Have you? Oh, what the fuck? What does that do? Right. Securing points. Moving out. Oh, boss. No. Damn it. Fuck. Does that work? Okay. All oh, right. Okay. You're a coward, mate. <laughs> uh, you need to be more careful. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Uh. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Uh... Get to not find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I was already behind the crates when the attack started. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find <laughs> What the fuck? You survived because you're lazy? Uh... Lucky break for you, mate. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. <laughs> yeah... Yeah, I guess. 
I don't really want to think about it. Right. Uh... Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. This what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Boy. And by the way, my... Cole mentioned you. Your Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, my entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Any weapons, mate? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing what from the, the military fuck? orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Wow. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just I fucking hand them over, mate. Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Uh, you should make amends, mate. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. All right, let's get out of there. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Right, hike. Ooh, explosive. Oh, good lord. Oh. Fucking night. Let's see here for this. Uh, I suppose uh, they're going to modify the max to the blast rates and impact. Ooh, fuck yeah, dude. Don't know. Take the train. Train him so and kill not us and be working with the guest. Take the cargo train to the next platform and stop him before he gets to the beacon. Alright, let's do that. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh no, leave cover, I'm gonna hold it back. Right. Oh god. Oh, no, not these things. Uh, okay, biotic throw, okay. Uh, where do you come and get the story? Okay, let's throw. Right. Uh, risk Caden. Caden throw. It allows you to throw enemies. Right. I want to see this here. Alright, let's do it. Oh. That was awesome. I didn't actually see him do it. Oh no, no, actually. I got used to be hurt. Oh shit. I should get cover. Get cover. Fuck, fuck, fuck. 
No. Goodbye. Back up. Damn it. Fuck it. I'm in more pain than. Pause. I hate this fucking. How much recoil there is? Like, good lord. Damn it. Thank fuck there's no bullet drop in this game. That would make this impossible. Right, and then... Let's just back to this. Uh... No, I'll switch to this. Oh, fucking get a Caden. Good lord. Beautiful. Out. Right, I'm going to do a quick save. Activate. Let's do it. I do have, I do have to go soon guys because I have to, to go somewhere I'm getting new glasses because, you know, I can't see shit. <laughs> you know that. Uh, I've had the rock prescription for a while so I need to go get those glasses but I need to hurry up here so uh, that's gonna, I'm gonna finish this mission here and then that's it. Okay. I'm gonna cut the vid. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Damn. Luckily I know where every single charge is. Take a out. Demolition charges. The guest must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Right, here's one. Oh well, fuck, damn it. One. Alright, come on guys. Alright, so I'm gonna sprint over here very, very lightly. There's one here. Get cover guys. Guy over here. Oh shit, there's one here. There's four of them? I thought there was three. Okay. Oh god! <coughs> Fucking eight! Damn it! Hold on. Damn it! Careful. 
Oh shit. Oh boys. Oh fuck, Caden's down. Derek. Oh god damn it, I think I killed Caden. Motherfucker. Good lord. Oh Jesus. Fuck off, mate. There's another guy here. Where is he? Or did he die? Damn it. <sighs> All right, one more here. Beautiful. All right, so we got some of these guys. I don't know what's. Oh, we have an upgrade. Okay. My head rounds and grab all that. 135. Okay. Banshee 1. I'm actually going to get rid of that. I don't need that. And then Hurricane 1. Wait. Okay, right. I don't need that either. Pistol Edge. Alright, this gives her some more power there. This gives him more power. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give her the edge. But I'm gonna give the striker to uh, Caden here. There we go, and then get rid of the Kessler. There, it works out for all three. Oh, we have a combat sensor too? Nice. Alright, so this is combat sensor 1, combat sensor 2, level 2 detection. I'm gonna give that to her. Sensor 2. And then I'm gonna have. Well, sensor. Uh, I already have a combat sensor 1 on here. So, um, what I'm gonna do is actually give. Caden. Oh, boss. Com oh, damn it. Give it a combat sensor one on that. And then the. for the pistol. I'm gonna give a heat sink. Actually, no, no, no. That's for her sniper, sorry. I'm gonna give her a heat sink. Damn. Because if she uses the. If she uses the heat sink, or if she uses the sniper rifle, if I ever use the sniper rifle, uh, she's gonna need a heat sink. Because, you know, the stuff. How many ammunition or cord squash protector designed at flat on impact, increasing the amount of physical force? Alright, so it increases the weapon's force damage. Alright, so honestly, I'm actually going to have that there, that there. You know what? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the hammerhead rounds here. And then the radioactive rounds I'm gonna place here. Okay? There we go. Right. There we go, and then we have. Do we have any of the codex here? No. Squad. Alright, plus three, so what I'm gonna do actually is one uh I'll do one, two, three, like that. Okay. Ashley Yeah, I'll do the same for you, so I'll do you this and this. Hayden. 
you get advanced saboteurs. Increase the rating strength of saboteurs. Nice. So you have that. And then I'm going to give you. You know what? Stasis McTown over there. Okay. Uh, oh, this is hard. You know what? I'm going to do. Okay, so she has first. She, okay, so she'll have first aid. I'll give her the first aid. Uh, so I'm not going to give first aid to him. I'm gonna do electronics here. Get along with electronics. Good. Let's do it. All right. What is actually? What is my most powerful weapon here? I need. I need to make sure I, I understand that. What, okay. So 150, 128, 132. Okay. Oh, good lord. That's horrible. Oh god. Oh my god, there's a guy over there. Oh Jesus. Hold on. Uh 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 switch here. Thank like, fuck. Oh Jesus. So we've got some stuff over here. What is up here? Never been up here. Is there anything up here? No. Nothing up here. I don't think I've been up here. I don't know. I'm going to unlock this. Alright, minor override. Look at that. Equipment. Avenger. Same goddamn one. Banshee. No, that's horrible. Shit. Okay. No one. This will. Okay, this will help. I'm gonna make this hammer one here. And then Avenger one, I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, she's got. Uh, the Reaper, which is even better, so I'm gonna actually get rid of the Avenger one. And then, Stores, weapons, okay. Uh, bad and bad. You know what? I'm actually going to. Like, this is bad, obviously. But what I'm gonna do, actually, is. I'm actually going to get rid of the Banshee, but I'm going to keep the Avenger. Just in case, like, we get new, let's say we we get new, uh, like, squad members or whatever. Uh, if that were to happen, you know, I, I at least have a, a, a powerful, uh, a powerful assault rifle, okay? So Banshee 1, get rid of you, keep you. Anything else here? Mods, combat sensor 2, right. Actually, I should have the combat sensor 2. Here. Yeah. Empty. You got. Combat. Right. Got combat sensor one. You know, I'm gonna give her a combat sensor on this too. She gets a combat sensor there as well. But I'm gonna have. Actually, does he have a combat sensor anywhere? Yeah, he does. Right, and I'm gonna give myself a uh, combat sensor two. Oh, boss. You know what? 
can I get hit? Actually, why can't... I'm a piercing one. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Wait, why can't I put a combat sensor on there? Like a second one. Wait, hold up. Oh, that's combat sensor 2. I need to give her combat sensor 1. There we go. And then... I will have a combat sensor 1, I think. No. Alright, I'm actually going to get rid of the radioactive rounds. Get rid of that. And then... Uh, you know what? I'll leave that. And then for this, I'll have a second combat sensor. Combat sensor 2 on there. Combat sensor, right. Combat sensor 2. Right, it works fine. Oh shit. There's a crate here. Cypher tool. I actually don't know what that does. What does that do? There's a cypher tool. What the fuck is a cypher? I don't know what the hell that does. Is that like... For this? Or so oh! It's an Omni tool thing. But what does this do? I have no idea what this does, to be honest. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cypher yeah, 2 1. Yeah, look at that. The blue wire tool is horrible, but uh, yeah, I need to get rid of that. It's a better cipher tool. Like right, so I have something over here. Right, this will help with decryption. Decryption will get me here. Oh, boss. Oh, right, take all. That's a person I'm going to find this shred flesh and other organic matter. This uh, rounds are effective against the living targets. Right. So if I have this, which is good for like synthetics and shit like that, and this is good for like all out, I'm gonna do this for, uh, for the gun here. And then was it another recoil dampener? Damn it, what did I just get? I don't remember. No. It's with a pistol. I'm, you know what? No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I can think it will stay there. And... Um, you know what? I'll give you recoil up in a one. And then give you radioactive rounds in here. And then here I will give you the combat sense of one. Right, that'll work. And Right. 
I did that right, correct? Fuck. Right. Alright, that's that. There's one more thing to get. I apologize for my breathing guys and trying to stop it. It's I can't though. I get it it's beyond my control at the moment. Quite explicit. I don't know what the fuck that does. I'm getting some good shit, I think. Uh snowing pack. I'm equipped with stim packs, but these tiny shots of adrenaline and speed of recovery and recharge times. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on. So why the fuck not? And what's this? Quite explicit. Quite upgraded grenades contain small, uh, Bose, uh, Bo Boise Einstein condensate. Master super cool subatomic particles when detonated, they're capable of snap freezing nearby targets. Ooh. I'm gonna do that. Fuck yeah, dude. That sounds. Sounds dope. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Right, I, I've seen this before, so it's like, that's why I muted my mic and stuff, I'm not already talking. This is the last bit I've we seen, by the way. The ship that down on Eden Prime. So after this part, I know nothing. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Oh shit, he's pissed. I would not want to work for that guy. He's scary as fuck. <laughs> Good lord. Violent. Uh. Doctor. Doctor Chakwas. I think he's waking up. Alright, this is the last part I saw. After this cutscene here, I'd say I didn't see anything. Uh, I, I haven't done anything, so. This is where I ended last time. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. <laughs> I look so How Asian. Oh my god. About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. 
It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Uh, don't blame yourself, Sia. You were careless. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would. Oh happen. God! I looked so Asian in that fucking frame there. Oh my God, that was so. <laughs> we'll the fuck. The beacon exploded. A explode, maybe. <laughs> Great. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Oh, look, a hospital. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual... I can tell she noticed that. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. So yeah, what I'm doing right now. Good lord. Training. Can you fix me, doctor? <laughs> Please? Damn it. Uh... Yeah, uh, tense dreaming. Fuck, I don't know. I'll just say I was dreaming. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. Oh God. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up? EXO stands for Executive Officer, by the way. Command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. Shepard, I Fuck, I don't remember. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins, mate. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Wonder why Williams is here. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Oh, brilliant. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Ah, uh, you wanted to talk, Captain? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The council's going to want answers. Got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a spectre. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Uh, why? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. Uh, what will we say, mate? What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost protein technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Need to expose him. But yeah, I understand. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador. 
and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Roger. Right, so this is exactly where I left off last time, guys. Right. So, journal. Uh, the Beacon Indian Prime was destroyed before it self-destructed. It burned horrific images of death and galactic destruction into your mind. Whether these images the past support is the future, as you can't really say. So, find the beacon. Speak to Joker. Go to the cockpit and tell Joker to bring the Normandy to dock at the Citadel. Damn it. Citadel and Galactic Government. I hate reading these because they're so damn long. Citadel and Galactic Government. Massive space station says political and economic capital of Galactic Culture. Alright, Citadel Station Statistics. Although the Citadel is equipped with mass effect generating element zero cores, most of the gravity on the station is generated by the centrifugal force uh, of rotation. Rotation three, three and a half minutes uh, per revolution. Rotational gravity in boards, one, one, uh, one point not to earth rotational gravity in presidium 0.3 earth uh, total length open is 44.7 kilometers damn that's insane uh, ward length oh total length right open 44.7 kilometers diameter open is 12.8 kilometers. Ward length is 43.6 kilometers. Ward width is 330 meters. Presidium ring diameter 7.2 kilometers. Presidium ring width 553 meters. Uh, exterior armor thickness 13 meters. Uh, Population is 13.2 million, not including keepers. I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, the gross weight is 7.11 billion metric tons. Good lord. Height of the Basidium Tower is 1,047 meters. Alright, so that's the statistics of the Citadel. Now, Citadel Galactic Government, again, massive space sciences, political economic capital agriculture. Gonna read this here. Alright, listen. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. Damn. That's insane. Right, so, uh, I don't know if I did Spectres, but I'm going to do this here, real quick. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance, and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. 
The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. Right. Why do everything in squad? No. Okay. Alright guys, so this is where I ended off last time. So I'm going to save here. I do need to go. So I'm going to save here. New save. Right. Let me just look at this here. I want to head court, right? Right, so I'm saving here, guys. Alright, guys, I'm, I'm going to cut it here. Uh, that's all for this part. I'll, when I get back, I'll, I'll continue on. Uh, that's all for this part, there. If you like this, smash the like button like a badass. Leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time. Farewell.